Welcome everyone to our support video channel. Today's topic is about the new audit trail architecture in Product 360 10.1. Our agendas today includes architecture change, the repository settings, the server settings, the new entity item change document, and last but not least, a short demo. First, we're going to discuss about the audit trail architecture change. On the left side, you will see the old architecture prior to 10.1. All the modifications via our clients will be recorded in Product 360 server, which will be transferred to Audit Trail server using a message queue, and all the changes will be stored in a SQL database. On the right side, you will have the new architecture in the 10.1. All the modification will be recorded into Product 360 server and the changes will be indexed using Elasticsearch. To configure the audit trail for entities, first we're going to configure each entity audit trail using repository. And uh, for each entity, you will have audit trail settings for the master, which is for master catalog and for the supplier, which is for supplier catalog. Regarding the settings, you will have data source, retention policies, which includes long retention, short retention, or no retention. Revision settings, which includes all revisions, the ahead revisions. And of course, the use on index will be enabled by default. To switch to Product 360 10.1, Configuring all the trail for entities will be a manual process, so please look at our documents and uh, take a look at the instruction on how to configure each entity's audit trail settings. Regarding server settings, as mentioned before, a running Elasticsearch service is a prerequisite since all the changes made via our clients will be indexed using Elasticsearch. To enable audit trail in the server properties, you uh, will have several properties to configure. Noticing audit trail mode will be production in if you want to keep all the changes recorded in the audit trail after a server restart. For disaster recovery, you will have a backup restoration mode, which uh, will be applicable in case a server DAO situation. For entity item change document, on the left side, uh, you will see that the index, which uh, includes the system name and the index name whenever there is a changes in our system. On the right side, this is the change summaries. First, you will see the change entities will be the product since we just make some changes in, at the product level. And uh, throughout the change summary, you will see the change type, which is change because we just um, modify data. And the data which is modified is a short description so you can see the old and the current data. And now we're going to have our demo. Back to our demo, you can see that this is our Product 360 web UI. In here, I'm going to edit a short description of a product. I'm going to input here that this product provides product information management capability. After that, I'm going to go to the audit trail. Data type, I'm going to put as product and the field selection will be the short description. If you search, as you can see, our latest change is recorded in the audit trail of the web UI. One thing I want to notice is, is that right here at the catalogs UI, you can also view the history of changes 
by going to the history tab and you can see all the changes that we have made for a particular entity in this case is the product short description to summary please find all the technical information regarding enabling the trail in our configuration guide along with the technical guide and finally we would love to hear from you so please write to us with the below email address and the below social media platform thank you